Attaboy here. So you want to learn how to build a jet engine. Are you having a hard time? Are you struggling with it? Does it keep blowing up in your face? Pretty sure it does. Well, I think I can solve your problems. I will teach you the basic of jet assembly, what logic to pick, and how to get 100% throttle out of your build. Come watch what I do! Okay, so first step, we are going to build ourselves a little bit of a platform. I'm going to turn my mirror mode on. You guys can follow step by step if you like. We don't need too big of a platform, but we do need a decent sized base. Fill in the gaps right there. All right, good to go. Next, I'm going to put a little bit of a support system down for it. Now I'm going to add a compressor. I'm going to get all these ready in my little bar here. Combustion. I'll put some ducting. Um, we can add just a normal exhaust right now since this is just a basic tutorial. And a small jet turbine. So compressor first. Make sure you line up the arrows for the airflow direction. Since we're already up front here, I'm going to add a small jet intake. There. Now behind this, you can add ducting if you like. Kind of give you an idea of you can space it out a little bit if you like. And after that, I'm going to add a combustion chamber. And after the combustion chamber, we're going to put a small turbine on it. There's no power port on the small turbine like there is on a medium one. All right, I'm just going to put some blocks under it just to make it look like it's got some kind of support. Oh, I might have to move that because I might be blocking my fuel port. That's all right. We'll hold it there for now. Next, I'm going to add my exhaust nozzle. And it'll be good on that one. That's pretty much basic complete basic basic engine jet engine you're not going to get any charging out of it you're just going to get some thrust and that's it so let's add a control panel to it Ugh. all right whatever we'll add a throttle There we go. And I am going to need a regular push button switch. That'll be for our compressor. Now we need a fuel tank. I'm going to put a large one in there. And I'm going to line it up with the tank. There we go, as long as we're under 10 blocks. Now let's get some hose, or pipe, sorry. We don't need a T-piece, we're just going to need an angle, or elbow. I'm going to color these red for fuel. Spin that around. There we go. Put some straight pieces on it, and another elbow. Excellent. All right, now our fuel is connected. Now we need a battery. Put the battery right there. We're good to go. Okay, so now we're going to hook everything up. Now we're going to connect the toggle switch to the compressor and the throttle to the throttle in the combustion chamber. And I am kind of curious, so we're going to add some gauges here. There we go. That's what I want. Um, 
let's do one for the battery as well. Perfect. We'll get our logic going. I'm going to go to the power first. Okay, everything is powered. Goes back to the other logic, and we want. Let's make the top one our battery and the lower one our fuel. Good enough for me. And then this our fuel. Excellent. Oops. There we go. All right, I think we're ready to go. We're ready to check it out and uh, see how it works. I already got one named that one. There we go. So let's drop it in and see how it does. Let's adjust our throttle up just a little bit up to about 20 because it will not start at below that. I think it's below 15 or so. All right, we got to hold our compressor in until it starts. It is not starting. Let's check it out. Let's check out our logic first. Oh, I know exactly why. Because I did not change my fuel tank over to jet fuel. That's exactly what the reason is. Okay. Always make sure you select your, your select tool and then click on the gas tank and change whatever fuel type that your engine requires. If it's diesel or if it's jet fuel. All right. So we're good. Now, let's save that again. Jet engine one. Yes, confirm. Drop that in. Bring that up to about uh, 27 is fine. I'm hold that down and we should have ignition. There we go. We have a running jet engine. But we still have a very large problem with this jet engine. It's going to blow up. It's going to overheat. And it's going to explode. Oh, looks like my engine is going to walk away from me. Goodbye, engine. <laughs> Let's fix this issue. Okay, so to fix the issue from the runaway, having a runaway engine. We're going to add some mag, mag all connectors. Happy with that. Let's add a toggle. That way we can lock down our maggles. Put the default state on. Okay. Now we need to connect the electric. Go over to the data part of the logic. Connect these up to each one of the maggles. And we should be good to go. Let's save that. Drop it in. There we go. We're all connected. Sounds good to look. All right. Good stuff. Now, adjust your throttle up. Turn it on. All right, we have ignition. I'm gonna let go of the compressor switch. The compressor will slow down, but the engine will keep running. 
So now I should be able to throttle this all the way up to 100%, but unfortunately it's going to blow up because we do not have our logic in. There it goes. It exploded. So how do we fix this problem? We're going to fix it by adding a logic. So we are going to grab ourselves a function 3 input. Bring that down into there. We'll drop the logic right there. Oops. Do that take mirror mode off. All right. Now, we are not going to connect the throttle directly up to there. We don't want that. So what we are going to do is we're going to connect our throttle value up to input 1. And we're going to connect the FXYZ1 to the throttle on there because it's our output there. And then we need to connect this one. Um, up to the RPS controller. And voila! But we're still not done. We have to input a command line here or some word of code here, whatever it is. So, up in this input line here, we are going to input these exactly. So just follow along. Okay, so that's the full command that you want to put in there. There's no errors detected, so it looks like we're good to go. Let's save it. Drop it in. Bring it up to 18, 20, 22. Start it up. We have ignition. Looks like the battery's not being used anymore. That's good. We have fuel consumption. Well, now, if we fire this up to 100%, we should not blow up because of this wonderful piece of logic right here. It's a beautiful thing. It works. It works great. No explosion. RPS controller on there is working perfectly. We're at 100% throttle. One thing left to do. Send it. Okay. Send it. <laughs> Alright guys, well, I'm going to end the video right here. If you like what you saw, please hit that subscribe button and a thumbs up. That would be much appreciated. You're helping out my channel. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.